Well, Aston Villa League and I might as well end the review there because there's not really much to talk about. The game itself was very, very boring. Now, I was on a Metro and it got delayed and everything, so I missed the start of the game by 30 minutes. Didn't look as though I'd missed much. And uh, literally two minutes after I started watching, Rashford scored. And that was about the only thing that I remember. I mean, there was, I think we had three, four shots against a side with 16 points who've just been relegated. And to be honest, we deserved to draw the game towards the end of the game. Gusted had a header that hit the post. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what happened. Oh, yeah, there was a pass across the box and blind, brilliant defending. But it could have easily been a draw in this game and that that's just the roller coaster ride we're on with Van Hal. I'm sure Villa fans feel a lot worse than we do as Manchester United fans though being in the championship now is obviously going to be a hard pill to swallow but in regards to us there's just so many highs and lows throughout the season it's it's ridiculous well I call them highs but you know little peaks uh, at least but you know 3-0 <laughs> against Spurs we go to West Ham no one expects us to win in the FA Cup. We win 2-1. Then we play Villa and we have won. But it doesn't feel like that. It's 1-0 against a team that Chelsea just walked over. They could have had even more than they got. I think it was, what, 4-0 four? Four it finished. They could have had 5, 6, 7, 8. And uh, y you would think that this would be the game where we just pile on the goals. You know, pile on the goals. Just, yeah, pile them up. But we didn't. And... It, it's just it's just under the Van Hal reign we struggled to score goals. That's just the truth of it. We're going to finish with our lowest goals tally. I don't want to be so negative for a win, but I'm trying to put this into perspective. We, we really shouldn't be happy with scraping a 1-0 win against a team who've just been relegated. At least we got the points, and I suppose that's what matters, but there's supposed to be entertainment. I mean, Come on, like it's Manchester United. We're supposed to be an attacking team, but one nil. It was just, just typical, really. Uh, Rashford scored. Uh, it was a great goal, to be honest. Well, I say great. It was a good goal. Uh, Rooney with a fantastic ball to Valencia. It's nice to see him back in the team. I think him in the number ten. I prefer to see him there than Matt. Uh, Matt has been terrible recently. He was terrible in this game as well. Played on the right wing, fair enough, which uh, isn't his favourite position. But I'd prefer to see Rooney behind uh, because he can spray these long balls and he's got a good passing range. And yeah, ball out to Valencia. Valencia finds Rashford and it's a nice finish. Um, I think basically uh, the defender who, who was Aston Villa's defender, my mind's gone completely blank. But anyway, yeah, he blocked Guzan's view and I think that's why the goal went in. And after that, you think because... So many teams have done this. When Villa concede, they have to go for the game and their organisation is shambolic. And you think we're going to pile on the pressure. And in fairness, we had a couple of chances. Memphis, the main creator, it was nice to see him get some minutes. But because it's against Villa, I wouldn't expect him to start next game or whatever. And, you know, because it's against Villa, no disrespect to them, but it's a hard game to judge whether a player has actually done well. Like Rooney, he did fairly well today, but can he do... Well, coming back from his recovery against another team like we've got Everton uh, in the Cup. Well, we've got Palace before then, then Everton in the Cup. And uh, there's other players like obviously Memphis came in. Uh, Matt, uh, he, he was terrible against a really poor Aston Villa side. So um, we'll see what happens. Valencia looked okay, but I think we were resting players and that's fair enough. Uh, Herrera... Well, I wouldn't say it was rested. I think he was just dropped. Um, Martial was certainly rested. Fusa Mensa was certainly rested. There were two other changes in the lineup, and my mind is went blank. Carrick, he was rested. Um, and I'm sure there's another player that. I, oh, Lingard, he was rested as well. So we played a lot of other players, and yeah, I, I'm rambling about absolutely nothing. We finished. We won the game one nil, and that's pretty much all I have to say. So. Aston Villa obviously down, so we'll see what happens with them in the championship. But as for us, can we get top four? I, I don't think so. With De Bruyne in City's team, I just can't see us getting into that. I don't know who we're going to overtake. Arsenal always seem to look as though they're just getting dragged back in it. And then they'll propel themselves with two, three wins back to back. And then they'll be out of sight because we'll drop points by then. So I still don't think we'll get in top four, but we can hope.